What's up, guys and girls? How are we all doing? Welcome to Pemberland Deluxe. Big shout out to Dusty Dave, the creator of this wonderful little map that we're going to be having a look around in a uh, in a few minutes. Um, Basically, Dusty has um, been generous enough to send me over um, a copy of the map to uh, to do a first look on, so you guys and girls can uh, have a little look. Um, I do believe, as this uh, the day this video goes out, I I am hoping well uh, dusty did say that he was going to try and release it um that day hence i'm going to try and put this video out on the day that this is going to go in for testing um so um but this is um seasons uh chopped straw and uh, multi-terrain ready um and uh we are just going to crack straight on and have a little look round. So as we spawn in here, this is the the main yard where where we uh, start off every every time we spawn into the map, which is lovely, lovely little uh, thatched thatched cottage there. Um, let me just pop into here quickly. Let, while we're just having a look around here, let me just turn my walking speed down slightly so it's a bit easier for you guys to have a good look round. We do have the uh, we do have the landy ready, ready and waiting for us to um, have a good look round. So this is the main yard we spawn in. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm hoping that's coming out on video. So this is a fuel here, and um, yeah, there's like like the uh, the diesel, like a spillage, like the rainbow. Oh, there we go. That's a good good angle of it. That's cool. That's <laughs> just li something so tiny, but which is pretty cool. Just sort of makes the makes the map stand out. So you don't really need to um you can sort of see on the floor instead of having that as a checkered box um so we'll have a look at the equipment as as we're going around we have a weight over there and a front loader with the pallet fork yep and a bale spike um so there's a little trailer there in there. so this is where we um we can store and collect our grain for um storing and selling um, over here we have a huge barn area for storage purposes. We have liquid fur over here, I believe. I do believe that symbol is for liquid. And we start off with an Amazon Cedar, the New Holland. 8340, I always forget that one, and a Voltra seed point here, a uh, water point there. So, this is kind of it's weird because Pemberton was out in 15, I do believe. Um, and um, I, I, I haven't played Pemberton Farm. I ha literally, I haven't played it at all, so I'm really, really looking forward to this map. Um, getting to getting my teeth into it as such. We have the little single row wind rower there. The um, normal, I do believe that's a, is that a six meter tedder, I think. Round baler, and the single rear Ottinger mower. So, oh, oh, uh, yeah, just. Uh, in case you can hear any background noise, it's really hot today. So I have got a couple of fans on at the moment. So if you can hear any background noise, I do apologise. And uh, we'll see how it we'll see how it goes. Um right, oh, oh yeah, look there's this. We've got lights. Lights on in the shed. We'll have a look and see how much the animals uh, the fields are. 
So that part is storage. And then here we have the cow area. So uh, total mix into here. We'll just hop over the fences. Um, that is a water trough there. And I do believe over here if I run, 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 this will probably be for just for plain grass. I think that's how they work. Um, so you can probably put total mix in there as well if you wanted to. But I think on the menu it comes up that they have to have grass as well as total mix. So that, yeah, that area there is... So yeah, this is the cows. Uh, let me hop over here and we'll go out this way. Just sort of double back on ourselves into the landy. We have another meadow here, which leads us out onto the main road, but we don't want to go out that way quite yet. And this brings us, uh, this brings us back out into the main farm area, back into the where the sheds are. Um, so we have a big storage shed here, which has got the combine in it. A minute, so plenty of storage. Um, not the not the uh, not a map for big for big equipment at all. Um, I will show up the PDA just before we go, um, which is going to be very very shortly. I don't think there's anything else left on left on here to have a look at. So. Let's hop in our landy here. Oops. And we can crack on. Right, so if we bring up the map. There we go. Zoom that in a bit. We can a bit further. There we go. So down here we have Pemberland a uh, Pemberland BGA. And we have shops and stuff down here, sale areas. So we're going to go and have a look at all of these. Uh, we're going to head over to the sheep area as well. Um, what's going on with a crop on field five at the minute? Bit a bit weird. So yeah, so as you can see, we have we have everything um, everything there. Let's zoom in a bit more so we can no zoom out to see those but yeah when you kind of zoom in you can see roughly where where things are everything's a bit kind of on top of each other because it is such a small such a small map um but i'll tell you what let's let's see where this leads us shall we let's let's head out of the farm here and uh i'm gonna go we'll go left first i think I've got indoor cam on, so I've got to keep going out. Outside the outdoor cam. Outdoor? Outside cam. So we've got this little dirt track up here, which leads us just to a few fields. Nice bit of old equipment just parked in the hedge there, look. I do like things that just... Things that stand out that are absolutely no use to the map whatsoever but they just make the map pop you know it's little things like that that I think is fantastic uh, we'll have a little look down there in a bit so as we can see here look we've got quite a big um, big grass meadow here let's have a quick look and see how much so we're just over two hectares Little oh, little under two hundred thousand. I mean, that's a big field. That is a big field. And up here, we have a little a ruin, which is pretty cool. Can we get to get into the ruin. Yes, we can. We get out through here. Yes. So yeah, so we'd have to um, make our way round that if we ever ever buy these fields up here. 
But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. But I mean, look, look, look at the views. Look. I mean, I do have shaders on, but they're not. They're not what I call a a strong shader. It just it just does a little bit just to make it make it a little bit um, a little bit a little bit better. So. Um, I haven't got seasons on as yet, um, and I haven't looked at it with 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 seasons. But I am, I'm presuming it is going to look awesome with seasons on. There we go. This just leads us out onto the two top fields here. Um, so we are here. So this leads us out to field 20 and field 19. But if we go left here, can we get down to the sheep from here, I wonder? Um, I'm not sure if we can or if we can't, but there is no collisions on the hedges. So if we need to, yeah, there seems to be a gate down here. We'll just we'll pop ourselves around here. We'll have hop out here and we'll um open this gate. Then we'll pop back in the landy. I should have turned indoor cam off though. Oops. There we go. This leads us straight down and straight into the sheep yard. Which I mean sheep for me they are they're my kind of go-to. The sheep are, uh, but whether or not because they're the easiest to look after or maintain or whatever, I don't, I, I don't know. But I just, I, I love looking after sheep. So uh, right, so we have uh, water, water trough here, and a feed trough there. Got some nice storage here. More lighting. The lights are really bright and really cool. So let's hop over into here. Slight collision there on the on that, but that's nothing. Nothing too drastic there. These are cool. So the actual meadow for the sheep actually goes round to here as well. We can get into it via that gate there. And there's a little yard here as well that comes with it. So if you want to, you know, really go full on with it, you can um, actually start off up here. The only thing you're missing is a house. But you could, um, you know, you've got your grass. Your grass fields are around here, so you can... You could just start with sheep if you wanted to. The views. The views are amazing. So yeah, just a few sheds in that down here. If you wanted to um, store some stuff down here, you could. Right, so where are we going to go next? Let's have another look, shall we? Alright, so we are down to here. So that's pretty much the whole left-hand side of the map done. Um, let's see if we can make our way down to the placeable area. I wonder if I... Uh, where have I got to go for the placeable? Uh, let's get back out onto the road here. Um, go down. Ah, uh, this, is, this is nice up here, actually. So we're going to... Um, Cut our way back out. Um, that is uh, a dead end down there. Because we are at the edge of the map. So we'll just poodle along up this road here. Just taking in all the... Um, all the scenery that we've got going on. That's a save. That's nothing to do... This, I've tested this map um, on my my settings. So my my graphics card 
Um, GTX 960, 2GB, 2GB uh, of v uh, VRAM. And um, my settings are on a uh, high um, farm sim settings with um, a custom, a custom high. So, um, and I get a solid 60 everywhere. But this, I really, really like this. But don't fall in there because you if you go in there you can't get out, you have to tab to a vehicle. Um that's our that's the main yard over there. Again. But yeah, just it's really, really nice. The whole map is just such a lovely place to look at. It's gonna be it's gonna be a pleasure to do some farming around here. Now this this is going to be a challenge to get to get stuff around here. It really is. So right, uh, let's stick our foot down in the landy, as it will go fairly fairly quick, as we all know. Uh, we'll head straight over and we'll go and check out the BGA next. Here we go. Uh, Pemberton Bioplant fueling Cornwall with green energy. Yeah, that's the the other thing I didn't mention. It is, uh, I think it's corn. It's Cornwall based, but I don't think it's actually an area. I think it's um fictional. I don't think it's a factual place. So standard stuff. Standard but different. If you see what I mean. So we have the um. I do like the open ended clamps makes it a lot easier for um, compacting and then we have the usual stuff um, liquid manure um, the good old silo king where we sell the sell it all so but it's 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 a nice big open area and I think you can um definitely um there isn't anywhere to store, if you want to just to store a front loader down here or something, there isn't a little shed or anything to um, to put that in. But there's plenty of space to just to add add a little something if you really wanted to. Spin this around. Tell you what, look, let's go out the out, shall we? <laughs> do it properly, GD. Let's do it properly. There we go. So obviously Waybridge. Obviously. Right now, I think if we just pop up the PDA again, zoom in, and uh, we are down here waiting to come out. So we've just come past there. Let's head down. Let's go left and check out this part down here of the map. And then it's just the top part, and we are done. So I don't want to sort of show too much, you know. I'll, I'll show all the areas, but you really need to. Um, oh, that's a little forestry area just in there as well. But this is actually this is like Pemberton um, village, or well, I, suppose it's, I suppose it's not a town, but we easy out. But we have the um, churchyard there. Just the um, standard houses. Get down here. So if we now go, let's do it properly. This is where the shop and everything is down here. At least to a dead end. So this is the shop area in here. Obviously, they sell New Holland, Case, Grimmy, Deutz, JCB. Pemberton Machinery Sales. But just a standard shop. Nice area, nice big area for the spawn point. So, I'd be curious to see how much we can... Um, how much we can get in there. We have the uh, um, ATM over there and... Uh, Buy point and customize point as well. 
Then we come over here to the animal dealer and the timber yard. Standard timber yard. Um, I'm presuming here is where you would unload your logs. Wooden timber. Um, unless it's wood chip only. And over here we have the animal dealership. Where we can buy our pigs, sheep and cows. Right, so that's another part done. But this map is so... Oh no, we have a cell, um, a, just a cell point down here actually. Pemberland Grain Sales. Just a cell point. But, you know, yet again, for a small map, like with small, where well, you're going to have sort of small-ish equipment, it's got a huge, a huge place where we can sell stuff. Sell the grain. Right, so we've done up here. We can go left, which just takes us straight back to the edge of the map. So if we go right here, try not to run anybody over if we can possibly help it. This road leads us straight back up to the main yard, I think. not go too hard over there shall we there's just a little storage area there where you can it might be good for bales possibly or maybe machinery um, this is the um, wool and straw point cell point and another cell another grain cell area another water point as well and over here we have uh, selling the wool and selling the straw. Um, I'm not sure whether that's just straw or whether you can do hay and grass here as well. That just says bales, so that might sell. Let's have a quick look. Um, what can we do here? So this is country stores this is country stores do on oh, no, a bale sale that's what this is here yep so we can do hay uh, grass hay and straw um, silage is only down at the at Pemberland BGA so oh wow look how much wool is awesome so there we go It's always handy if you've got any excess grass bailed up. It's always handy that you can actually sell it somewhere. Right. We are cracking on here with the first look. I must be it's getting it's getting nearly to half an hour already. We're, and with such a little um such a little map, uh that leads us back up to the main yard there. So we are now, hang on a minute, let me just pop back here. Right, so there isn't much actually left for us to look at. It's just these fields up here. So we've done here, we've done where the cows are, we've done the sheep. We see the pigs. Oh, I didn't go down here, did I? Actually, I was supposed to cut down here and go through here. Right, let's, let's, let's do this. Right, so we have... Chickens! So we have a bit more equipment down here, a cultivator and a plow. So yeah, I'll um I'll walk you out from here. But if we come through this yard, well we've got all the um loads and loads of storage down here. We have um next one along GD over this wall. Pigs! We have a pig area. This is quite big as well, actually. And obviously, same again, water trough. Feed trough. 
and this in there will be where it spawns the manure we have a placeable area down here we've got a large placeable area to do with whatever you see fit and you see I think this you'd, you'd, you'd probably never go this far too often but this this is just it's awesome I love it you know it's just a an unused or disused um, train track pretty cool and then we come up to here and we've got another huge um, field field 18 Is that part of field 21 as well The boundary there, just where them trees are, I think. We've got 18 and 21. So we can get to 18 and 21, you can get to. But I mean, look at this. Look, ideal for some signage if you wanted to do it. Oh, absolutely ideal. Here we go. This is where, this is where we started. This is where we sort of spawn in if you want to teleport down here. And then this track here takes you back all the way back out and onto the main onto the main road so as you come as you come down there if you turn off the main the main stretch there near the church here as you can see just here so you come off there at the church turn down and that's where you've got your chickens your pigs and uh, a placeable area um, but you can also get to that via the sheep farm and then you cut down through the two grass fields and then you can come into it that way as well. Right, I want to find my landy again. There we go. And I do believe we are pretty much... done I think I can't think of anything else we'll just take a drive up here but I don't think there's anything else to check out and if there is you have to go and check it out yourselves won't you but no this road that leads down to the dead end there and that's a dead end there is that field usable oh yeah I thought this was really nice to get into this field up here look we've got we've got a whole field up here as well so as I said this just it's just things with this map that I just love you know I really really do and I think silage is gonna be a big thing a big 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 thing on this map I think So, and you're going to have to pick your vehicles wisely as well. So, but there we go. That's it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Pemberland. Pemberland, actually. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't think there's anything, anything left to do or do or say apart from another big shout out to Dusty Dave go and check his he's Dusty's on he's on YouTube he's on Facebook Google Dusty Dave go and check him out definitely definitely worth your while and um, once again DD thank you ever so much buddy for um, giving me the opportunity to um, get a first look on on Pemberland Deluxe really really looking forward to seeing what I can do with this with this map in the future and um, I do believe there's going to be a lot of people as well that are going to be very happy that this is this is on its way out which is lovely so but that is going to be it for me ladies and gentlemen I do hope you've enjoyed don't forget to go and check out Dusty and he will make let you know when this is going to be either uploaded released either or he'll give you the options so make sure you go and check out um, Dusty 
And um, But for me, that's it. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to please leave a like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will speak to you all in the next one. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care.